Okay, this tutorial is easy. It may seem long, but trust me, by the end of this video, you will know how to create a 3D effect on a card. First, create a rectangle and round its corner. Then create two copies. Now what you want to do is select the middle one, open the Unsplash plugin, and add an image of your choice. Press Shift plus R to open the ruler section and place a horizontal and a vertical line so you can create four equal sections of this rectangle and fill each with a rectangle. You can round their corners so they can perfectly match the rectangle. Select the three first rectangles you created and align them. Make sure the image is between them. Select the top one and add an angular fill. Put the first extreme in black and at 100 for opacity, and put the second also in black but with opacity at zero. Copy its fill, change the color to white, and hide them. Rename each layer. Select the back one and give it a dark color and a layer blur effect. And change the top layer opacity from pass through to soft light. You can rename each layer and group them. Select the whole group, add a drop shadow effect, and copy my setting. Create a component set and create a first variable, and we'll call it TR because it will activate when the top right part is hovered. So select everything in the group except the group as I did it is very important. I rotate it to minus three degrees. And what you are going to do is unhide the fill you hid before and change the position of the fill's extreme. What I mean by that is that since we are targeting the top right part, put the blackest extreme close to the top right and the whitest extreme on the opposite side. Then select the background and move it the way I do, just make sure you don't overdo it. And that this part and this are approximately the same size. Make another copy and call it TL again. Select everything except the group, but this time rotate it to 3 degrees. Unhide the fill again and change the position of the fill's extreme. Since we are targeting the top left part, Put the blackest extreme close to the top left and the whitest extreme on the opposite side. Then select the background and move it the way I do. Make another copy and call it BL. Select everything except the group but this time rotate it to 3 degrees. Unhide the fill again and change the position of the fill's extreme. Since we are targeting the bottom left part, put the blackest extreme close to the bottom left and the whitest extreme on the opposite side. Then select the background and move it the way I do. Make a last copy and call it BR. Select everything and expect the group to rotate it to minus 3 degrees. Unhide the fill again and change the position of the fill's extreme. Since we are targeting the bottom right part, put the blackest extreme close to the bottom right and the whitest extreme on the opposite side. Then select the background and move it the way I do. Prototype link each rectangle to its associated variant while hovering, easing out 250 milliseconds. 